Now, many of us, of course, in Eastern Caribbean are in the dry season, but not so for Trinidad and Tobago. Still a scattering of clouds and showers expected there. Now, the larger islands of uh, the Northern Caribbean are in their dry season, but it doesn't mean that they won't get rainfall, particularly from those at trailing cold fronts. But we are likely to still see a bit of sunshine from time to time, despite one or two of those showers coming through. And most of the showers will be across in the western of Cuba, so Havana will be breezy and damp, no higher than 29 degrees Celsius, as well as 29 of four many parts of Jamaica. But the sunshine will definitely be in force across Santo Domingo as well. Now the sunshine continues for the Eastern Caribbean. There's not much chance of a shower here. The breeze will definitely be picking up though. So a few uh, brisk showers are likely further towards the north. That is for the Leeward Islands, but for Dominica as well as for St. Lucia, mostly settled weather is likely here. And that will continue into St. George's Grenada with partly sunny skies for many parts of uh, Grenada there. And only down towards Georgetown, a brief shower likely and a high of 30 degrees Celsius. So that's your Caribbean travel weather and that's it from me.